Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to talk about my favourite number one protein bar that I consume on a regular basis. And this is the only vegan protein bar that I've ever consumed on my fitness journey. And there's a very good reason as to why. And this one is Garden of Life's one. And this is the sea salt caramel one. I've also had the peanut butter and chocolate one. But the peanut butter and chocolate one, due to the peanut butter has way higher amounts of omega-6 in comparison to omega-3. So the omega-3 to 6 ratio is not as good as this one. So this is why I am more drawn to this one. But I'd eat the other one as well. And they both taste really amazing. There's also a chocolate fudge one and a mint chocolate, I think. But I've never tried them, but apparently they're good. So there's many different flavours that you can consume. But this is my own personal preference and the reason why this is my favorite one i have spent hours and hours and hours of research in the past and even yesterday to look at some new ones on the market that are plant-based to see if they're any good is that i find time and time again a lot of them have got artificial sweeteners in or sugar or even palm oil or other unhealthy oils and other certain ingredients that are really not good whatsoever. And I also want one that is free of all dried fruits because dried fruits can have a negative effect on insulin and your blood sugar levels and it's also very bad for your teeth. So trying to find a really clean protein bar that is plant-based is very very difficult and almost every single one I found has palm oil in not necessarily all the other ingredients that I've mentioned or another source of oil and that is not something that I want within my body at all because most oils are very high in PUFAs polyunsaturated fatty acids and these are very well known to lower testosterone production within the body and have a whole host of other negative effects as well so for that reason and the other reasons i do not want them in my protein bar whatsoever and what i find with this protein bar is that i do not notice a massive increase in my blood sugar levels or insulin after consuming it which is really really good which helps me have sustained energy levels after consuming it and actually having higher energy levels after consuming it and feeling really really good and i find that it's really really easy to digest as long as i chew it thoroughly because if you're not chewing this thoroughly like most protein bars it's just not going to be broken down by your body as easily and effectively as possible which then it could have a negative effect on your digestion and absorption and assimilation of the protein bar that you're consuming or even this protein bar if you're consuming this and when you look at it it's usd organic certified which is another plus to this is non-gmo verified certified vegan certified for sports and it's trusted by sports which is informedchoice.org that does that and it's certified gluten free so as you can see it's just absolutely amazing just from those things that i've mentioned and the ingredients of this is organic tapioca which is known as cassava syrup and soluble fiber which this has been shown to increase blood sugar levels and insulin within people but this also has organic yacon root syrup which if you go and look at this study as it says yacon syrup is beneficial well has beneficial effects on obesity and insulin resistance in humans and this was a randomized controlled trial study and if you want to read this fully i put a link for it down below and if you do a lot of research into diabetes and syrups and sugars this is one of the best ones that someone with this issue can be consuming because it's not going to raise insulin and blood sugar levels in a negative way. So the combination of those two syrups combined together is the reason why I believe that it doesn't give me or other people a massive rise in insulin and blood sugar after consuming it which is really really good and the other ingredients are organic pea protein organic almond butter organic vegetable glycerin organic sprouted a brown rice protein which when you sprout things such as beans grains nuts seeds and legumes it actually makes them way easier to digest and it increases the protein 
within those things that have been sprouted by about 20%, the nucleic acids by about 20%, and vitamins anywhere up to 2,000%, and minerals by hundreds and hundreds of percent. So it makes the foods way more micronutrient rich and macronutrient rich as well, more specifically with the proteins with the macros, doesn't increase the fat or carbohydrate content within those foods when sprouted. So that's obviously really, really good. And it's also got organic pea crisps, which is a combination of organic pea protein and organic starch. It's also got organic acai fiber. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, it's not acai, but it looks very similar to acai. Organic almonds, organic flavors, and sea salt, which you're gonna find with a lot of the protein bars out there, they have table salt added to them. And when table salt is manufactured, they add toxic aluminium to it, and it has a whole host of negative effects on your health holistically. And when I taste, Sea salt compared to table salt, table salt tastes horrible. So sea salt makes food taste way better. And I find the combination of all of these ingredients just give me a really healthy protein bar that tastes good as well. Because some of the protein bars you're gonna find out there, they could be really, really healthy, but they're gonna taste like garbage. And yes, it could taste a lot better than it does, just as with any protein bar out there. You could add things that would enhance the taste even more, but that are very unhealthy for you. So yeah, that's just not something that I'm gonna make the choice with. I'm gonna go for the healthiest thing. It also tastes good as well, and meets my protein needs. And this has 20 grams of protein in it, and I really love this flavor. You get the combination of the sea salt with the caramel, and yes, it's quite a solid bar, but what I'd recommend is keep it out of a fridge, and as long as it is room temperature, it becomes a lot softer, and as long as you chew it thoroughly, it becomes really, really soft. And I find this is very, very filling, and I just feel satiated for hours and hours and hours afterwards, and the, Protein intake, like I said, was 20 grams. The total fat content is 8 grams, and the carbohydrate content is 32 grams. So obviously it's not suitable for people on a ketogenic diet, but this is way lower in carbohydrates than a lot of protein bars out there, and it has a good amount of fat, a good amount of protein, and only around 200 milligrams of sodium, because a lot of protein bars are gonna have excessive amounts of sodium within it. And also, if you look, which I forgot to almost mention this, this company also buys 100% certified renewable energy. So this company is a really good ethical company that is also doing the best to be the most environmentally friendly company as well. So for me, all of those things completely matter. So it's really good that I'm paying my money towards these products to help this company that is in line with my morals. And this has 200 and 70 calories within it. And most times when I consume this, I will consume one, but if I'm feeling desire for more afterwards, then I will consume another one as well. So I could get anywhere from 20 to 40 grams of protein. And I love having these because I do travel around and a lot of time I am very busy. So it's one of those things that I could just pick up and go that is healthy for me. Rather than being out and about and buying certain things on the go that are really unhealthy for me, like a lot of people do, this is just a very good alternative. And if I am traveling somewhere, I just take loads of these with me and I can always make sure that I have a high quality, healthy protein source with me and not have to worry about not being able to get a high quality protein source whilst traveling around. And I'm not actually breaking my fast because I'm still in my fasting state with my daily intermittent fast that I do every single day, but I'm gonna open it up and show you what it is like on the inside. And there is some complaints that people have about this sticky part of the label sticking to the bar, which I've had happen sometimes, but it rarely ever happens, and it hasn't on this one, but if it does, you can just scrape it off. That's of no issue or whatsoever. So that's what the protein bar looks like. And as you can see, it's very, very dense. It's a very heavy protein bar. It doesn't make me feel like garbage afterwards because it doesn't contain garbage within it. And it smells so good. <laughs> like that sweet caramel smell. Oh man. And I found with these protein bars, which is very interesting, 
the more often that I consume these, the better they just keep tasting. I haven't had these for a little while and I got some more recently. And yeah, I just love the taste of them. And it's interesting that they just seem to taste better every single time I have another one and have them for consecutive days in a row. So if you're someone that is interested in these bad boy protein bars, I will put links down below for UK, US and worldwide suppliers that can deliver these to your door. And I'm here in Thailand and I get shipped for America with no issue. And one thing I want to mention is, even if you're someone that isn't on a vegan or plant-based diet, I would recommend that you try these out as long as they fit into your macro intake. Because like I said, if someone's eating a ketogenic diet, then it's not suitable for you. But no matter what diet that you're on, as long as it can fit within your diet and it's not giving you too many carbohydrates, if that is a thing for you and your diet, you don't want too many carbohydrates, I would recommend that you consume this because it is one of the easiest digesting protein bars that you could consume because a lot of people get issues with protein bars and finding them hard to digest due to them containing things such as whey protein or casein or an abundance of oil which a lot of people have digestive issues with. So I would highly recommend that if you haven't tried this, go and buy them and give them a go. I can for sure say that you will not regret them. And what I love about this is it's a significant source of calories and quite a lot of protein within such a small package. So I found many times when I've consumed quite a bit of protein within a meal and I want an extra amount of protein without feeling too full and combining it with the other foods that I've just consumed, this just helps me have a small amount of food on top of the food that I'm eating without making me feel over full and getting an adequate amount of additional protein on top of the meal that I've consumed with this. And the only thing I would say that I need to improve with this if they could, but I haven't seen any company out there do it as of yet. And I'm sure there is a way, but maybe they haven't thought of it or maybe it just costs a lot more to do it. I wish that the packaging was recyclable because it is not whatsoever. The big box they come in is recyclable, so that's good because it's made out of card. But yeah, that's just a minor improvement that they could make to make these more environmentally friendly. So if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. And please share this video with anyone else that you think would love to hear about my own personal review of this Garden of Life Caramel Protein Bar. And maybe they might be interested in this and love it just like I do and get a very good source of protein like I am from this and many other people that consume this protein bar as well. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me talking about many different plant-based protein sources, one meal a day, intermittent fasting, showing you what I eat and a do in a day of videos, calisthenics, workout and progression and informational videos. Many other different videos to share with you so much information on many different things related to the type of topics of videos that I just mentioned that I will be making in the future and that you already can find on this channel that help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body, the desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. Like so many people have managed to from the information that I shared with them in videos and they've put into place and like I've managed to as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit. Stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace.